Hello, hope you're doing great. Welcome to a new video. This video will present some solutions to the problems that were presented on the first video and exercises for practicing congruence of triangles. Giving a more precise context, this video will present solutions to the problems on the first video about the side angle side or SAS criterion of congruence of triangles. Before presenting the solutions, I'll give you some general advices with respect to mathematics as a discipline. First, Proofs and solutions are far from unique. Also, mathematical discourse can seem very different to that of other disciplines. This aspect of pure mathematics can be compared to learning a language. The easiness to engage may only come after being comfortable hearing it. And as an encouragement, always have in mind that solutions and proofs take time of thought, practice and experience to unveil. Finding solutions to some problems can take days, weeks, or years. Now it is time to start with the problems. I will follow the order as in the video that presented the problems. Hence, for the first problem states, let be an isosceles triangle, the triangle ABC, such that the sides AB and AC are equal. Let the segment AD be the bisector of the angle BAC with D the intersection of the bisector with the side BC and asks to prove that the segment AD bisects the side BC and is perpendicular to it. There is a drawing showing the information given by the statement of the problem and the information required to infer. To start, the details on the information that needs to be inferred will be set aside and the drawing will focus on the information given by the statement of the problem. Next, it is important to recall and keep track of the details that are already present. The first piece of information that is stated is that the sides AB and AC are equal. It is also given that the segment AD is a bisector of the angle BAC, that is, that it cuts the angle BAC into equal angles, so the angles BAD and BAC are equal. And as a tricky detail, it is important to notice that the segment AD is equal to itself. With all the former information, one self-attention ought to be focused on the triangles ABD and ACD. Those triangles have the side AD in common, the respective sides AB and AC are equal, and their corresponding angles between those sides, the angles BAD and DAC, are equal. The triangles ABD and ACD have the properties required for the SAS criterion of congruence of triangles. Therefore, triangles ABD and ACD are congruent. This implies that their corresponding sides BD and DC are equal. Also, the pair of corresponding angles ADB and CDA will be equal, and the pair of angles ABD and DCA will be equal. This shows the large amount of information that the criterions of congruence of triangles can give. For this problem, not even all the information is relevant as the first two equalities of 0.5 are the objective of the problem. Overall, it has been inferred that the segments BD and DC are equal, and that the angles ADB and CDA are equal. It may be your time to ponder about this problem and this solution. If you found another solution or feel confused about some step, please comment. The next problem states, let B points A and B, let B the segment AB the segment joining those points, let M be the midpoint of the segment AB, let D be a point on the perpendicular of AB at M, and asks to prove that the segments AD and BD are equal. Again, at the beginning of a proof it's better to leave the objective of the problem aside and review the information that is given in the statement of the problem. First, the segments AM and MB are equal. As the segment MD is perpendicular to the segment AB at M, the angles AMD and DMB are equal. Similarly to the former problem, it is useful to notice that the segment MD is equal to itself. This time, it will be useful to focus on the triangles AMD and BMD. Triangles AMD and BMD 
meet the properties for the SAS criterion of congruence of triangles. Therefore, they are congruent. Due to the congruence, the corresponding sides AD and BD are equal. The angles MAD and MBD are equal, and the angles ADM and BDM are equal. Again, the criterion of congruence of triangles allows to obtain plenty of new information. However, to reach the objective of the problem is enough to retrieve the first equality on step 5. Hence, the segments AD and BD are equal. It may be your time to ponder about this problem and this solution. If you found another solution or feel confused about some step, please comment. It is due time to jump into the third problem in the video. This problem states, let be an isosceles triangle, the triangle ABC such that the sides AB and AC are equal. Let M be the midpoint of the segment AB and let N be the midpoint of the segment AC. And it asks, prove that the segments BN and CM are equal. This time there will be presented two different proofs for this problem. For the first proof, it can be noticed that the sides AB and AC are equal. Also, the angle BAC is equal to itself. This time, the angle BAC is the same as the angle BAN and the angle CAM. This may lead to focus on the triangles ABN and ACM. Also, it becomes important to recall that the segments AM and MB are equal, as well as the segments AN and NC. In addition, the sides AB and AC are equal, then their halves must be equal, otherwise the whole sides AB and AC would be different, especially the segments AN and AM are equal. Now there is enough information so that by the SAS criterion of congruence, the triangle ABN and the triangle ACM are congruent. From the congruence, it is implied that the segments BN and CM are equal that the angles ABN and ACM are equal, and that the angles AMB and AMC are equal. This time, the problem not only shows the usefulness of the criterions of congruence, but also gives a glimpse into the plenty of properties of isosceles triangles. Nevertheless, it is enough to stop at the equality of the segments BN and CM, as it is the objective of the problem. Proofs and solutions are far from unique. The following proof may give you an idea of how a different line of reasoning can work. The start does not change. It also starts noticing that the sides AB and AC are equal. However, this time becomes important to focus on the equality of their halves. More specifically, on the equality of the segments CN and BM. Also, the fact that the sides AB and AC are equal is used again to profit from a common property of isosceles triangles, as now angles ABC and ACB are equal. Again, the former angles may be denoted using the points M and N. If so, the angles NCB and MBC are conveniently equal. It also becomes convenient to focus on the triangles NCB and MBC and noticing that they have the segment BC as a common side. Hence, there is enough information to infer using the SAS criterion of congruence of triangles that the triangles NCB and MBC are congruent. Of the congruence of triangles, it follows that the segments BN and CM are equal, that the angles CBN and BCM are equal, and that the angles CMB and BMC are equal. Now, again it has been reached the conclusion that the segments BN and CM are equal. It is a good time to ponder about this problem and their solutions. It is a good exercise to compare their similarities and differences. Also, as always, if you found another solution or feel confused about any step, please comment. That would be all for this video. Hope you also found your solutions to these problems. Thanks for watching.